Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and this will be part one of about a dozen different videos in my new sub $300 PC build series. This time none of the parts were sponsored unfortunately, but I've been wanting to do a low cost budget build for quite some time. And there were some decent deals for a set of parts that I found at just the right time. So on Newegg during one of their shell shocker deals, I just so happened to check out the website at that particular time that they were having this uh, deal going and it was $280 and with that you get the Intel Pentium G3220 Haswell processor, the Rosewheel Stallion 500 watt power supply, the Asus H81M-K motherboard, the ADATA XPG 4GB DIMM DDR3-1600, the Xion XON-560 micro ATX or mini ITX case, the LG DVD burner, as well as a Seagate 500GB Barracuda hard drive. All that for $279.99, saving about $53 off of the price if you were to purchase those individually. And prior to this, I was looking at individual deals to where the power supply, the motherboard, the RAM, and the case were different. So if you were to build this computer for your own and you actually did want to save money and get it for under $300 because obviously if you add each one of these particular parts into your cart it's going to be more than $300. So with the particular combo deal, the shell shocker deal that I had, I saved $53. So if you were wanting to get it under $300 you'd have to change out some of the parts like I just mentioned and you could do so through pretty much any other site. You don't have to go to Newegg, you could go to Amazon for instance. So here's what I was Taking a look at prior to the new egg one, the RAM is not in here because it's not available on Amazon currently. So just add forty dollars to the prices that you see here. So for this particular set, I had a light on DVD burner, an MSI motherboard, uh, a Logisys power supply, a Rosewheel case, but the hard drive, the processor, and those are pretty much the only parts that remain constant throughout all of these different websites. So that would have been close to about three hundred dollars at tax to that so purchasing this through Amazon would have cost a little bit more money but it does have prime shipping for every item so it would get to me quicker but I was in no rush at all to do this build so I wasn't really worried about shipping time then you could also go to Tiger Direct and Superbiz this is where I purchased my 7950 the video card that I'm using in my personal desktop so you do have some choices in terms of where you'd like to go to purchase the parts so like I mentioned earlier, the reason I wanted to do this build was to see how far a sub $300 build in early 2014 could actually go in terms of performance and general usability. And so far I'm actually very surprised with how far just a little $60, $70 Intel processor can really go in terms of general performance. So again, for the components, I used the Asus H81M-K motherboard, the Intel Pentium G3220 Haswell processor, the Seagate Barracuda 500GB 7200 RPM SATA 36GB per second hard drive, the ADATA XPG 4GB DIMM, an LG DVD burner, as well as the Rosewheel Stallion Series 500W power supply. So that was it with part 1 of this PC build series. For the next several videos or so I'll be doing individual unboxings and overviews of each of the components and then I'll do a build video and then I'll do an overview video to show you guys the actual internal setup as well as the Windows setup and things like that. So if you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.